become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. Today we're going to look at Jack Dellinger's 1948 Mr. Western America Championship winning routine. Jack Dellinger was a silver era bodybuilding legend known for his rugged, thick, muscular and Herculean development as clearly shown in this single biceps shot. We can clearly see every body part is just so thick and massive. I mean, look at the size of the arms, the triceps, the forearms, the shoulders, back chest, arm, uh, sorry, said arms, calves and legs, damn, everything's just bursting out, and to boot, to boot on top of that, a trim, muscular waistline, this is why I consider Jack Dellinger truly the blonde Hercules of that era, and um, he was able to also handle insane poundages for high repetitions, and in doing so developed a thick and powerful physique. So today we're not only going to look at his championship winning routine, that at 21, at just 21 years of age, won him the 1948 Mr. Western America title, but his meteoric rise to fame. His blueprint essentially is something else we're going to look at, and his epic training sessions at Yarrick's gym, at the legendary Yarrick's gym, with none other than Steve Reeves. That's right, you heard it. Believe it or not, his training partner was actually Steve Reeves, and no wonder he developed such, an <laughs> such a fantastic, phenomenal physique. So let's have a look at the rise of Jack Dellinger and his phenomenal championship winning routine. So Jack Dellinger was born on the June 22nd, 1926 of Swedish descent. As a youth, he practiced gymnastics and in doing so gained incredible strength. For example, at 150 pounds, he was able to do all these amazing feats like the one-arm one chin-up. Hold, he could hold the crucifix on the rings and he could also do front and back levers. He was really, really strong. We're talking about strength, not in muscle, but in tendons and ligaments, which is something that gymnastics definitely gives you, as well as hand balance, balancing, which was he was very, um, very, very good at as well. His friends, noticing his incredible strength, uh, recommended and convinced him eventually to join the local Oakland YMCA, and he did so. After joining the YMCA, it is said that in his first visit, he pressed 150 pounds with ease overhead. Such was his strength. And after training for a while, he made some gains, gaining 20 pounds, going from 150 pounds to 170 pounds uh, with only um, a few weeks or months of training, from what I understand. With his lifting buddy, a local weightlifting record holder called Elwood Holbrook, who later suggested to Jack that he should join Yarrick's gym. And Jack would go to Yarrick's gym. Can you believe it? And watch Steve Reeves and Ed Yarrick train. What an experience. What a motivating sight for a young Jack Dellinger that must have been. Reeves was shortly after recruited to the US Army. And Ed Yarrick, realizing Jack's potential, became his training partner. And within three months, Jack Dellinger gained further going from 170 pounds to 195 pounds after training only for three months with Ed Yarrick. Together, Jack and Ed would train together for one and a half years. Amazing story and an amazing start for Jack Dellinger. Now, at this point in time, it is said that Reeves returned from service and the three strongmen began training together as shown in this photo. And they became known as the Big Three. Just look at this photo. We've got Dellinger on the far left. We've got Reeves, Mr. Shoulders. Christ Almighty, look at those shoulders. He doesn't even need shoulder pads, for God's sake. He's just, he's like, oh my God, it's just amazing. What an amazing sight Reeves was. And Yarrick on the far right, the Big Three. Can you imagine the sight, the vibe in such a gym? God, I'm envious just reading about this. Can you imagine the three of them blasting the weights at Yarrick's gym? Amazing, amazing. However, shortly after, Dellinger actually began hand balancing with his friend Sammy Buss. And Reeves, in the meantime, began training with Yarrick and entered and, of course, won the historic 1947 Mr. America competition. After which, Reeves left, leaving Yarrick once again without a training partner. 
He uh, so Yarick then contacted uh, Jack, and the two once again trained together for six months. Now here are Jack's measurements after his outstanding transformation at 21 years of age. We have his chest before at 40 inches and after 47 inches. It's a 7 inch increase. Waist went from 28 inches to 30 and a half inches. Arms 15 to 17 inches. Thighs 22 to 26 inches. Calves 15 to 16.5 inches. And neck of 15 inches going up to 17 inches. His weight, he skyrocketed, putting on 45 pounds of muscle up to 195 pounds. And he even increased a little bit in height. Definitely a massive transformation on the frame of Jack Dellinger, the blonde Hercules shown here in a basically kind of most muscular pose. Look the thickness of that development. Damn, everything is just three-dimensional, huge musculature. Phenomenal, massive physique of Jack Dellinger. Now Jack was as strong as he looked and no wonder. I can just imagine the competitive spirit that went on between the big three with Jack challenging Reeves and Reeves challenging Jack in their legendary epic full body workouts. Just look at these numbers. For a dumbbell bench press handling 130 pound dumbbells, uh, Jack would <laughs> perform 10 reps with that. That's an incredible amount of weight. 130 pound dumbbells for 10 reps, damn. A military press of 200 pounds for eight reps, not for a single rep, for eight reps, damn, that's strong. A squat of almost 400 pounds for 12 reps and leg pressing, not the 45 angle or, or the horizontal leg press. No, 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 no. We're talking about a vertical leg press of 600 pounds for 20 reps. Truly Herculean strength from Jack Dellinger. So finally, I bring you Jack Dellinger's championship winning routine, which he used prior to the 1948 Mr. Western America, shown here. He actually trained three to four times a week and would split his body routines up doing upper body in the morning and in the afternoon focusing on his lower body. Check out the list here. Overhead pulley behind the neck, four sets for 29 reps, decreasing the weight with each set. Very unusual rep range, but that's what he used. Upright rowing with dumbbells, five sets of 12 reps. Dumbbell bench press, as, already told, as I already told you, with 130 pound dumbbells, five sets times 12 reps. Pulley rows, five sets of 20 reps, deltoid pulleys, focusing on all three heads for 10 reps each for a total of three sets of 30 reps. The press behind the neck, five sets of 10 reps. Seated dumbbell curl, three sets of 15, followed by alternate dumbbell curls, three sets of 15 as well. You would also perform, once again, the famous barbell pullover, but would combine it with a press for the exercise called pullover and press, five sets of 10 repetitions and he would finish off doing arms triceps cable press four sets of 20 reps and neck exercises that was his morning routine just the morning insane insane now an upper body routine like that would wipe anyone out these days but no no not jack dellinger he would continue on in the afternoon doing lower body christ almighty doing standing leg curls with iron boots for six sets of 15 reps. Following this with squats on a three inch board, five sets of 12 reps, lying leg curls for five sets of 12 reps on top of that. And then calf raises for six sets of 20 repetitions at least. He would have to recover after such a tremendous training session. And he did, sleeping 10 hours a day. Damn, no wonder the big boy grew. So here are some very unique photos of Jack Dellinger after winning. At only 21 years of age, the Mr. Western America title of 1948, proudly holding his trophy there, already showing incredible development at such a young age, Jack Dellinger, Mr. Western America of 1948. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video on the meteoric rise of Jack Dellinger, winning the 1948 Mr. Western America with his championship winning routine. I hope you've learned something from it and you can apply it. And I say apply it because if you tried the whole damn thing, you'd probably kill yourself. Um, and uh, I hope you've also enjoyed learning about his epic training sessions with Steve Reeves. I find that the most inspiring part of this uh, story myself. Um, if you enjoyed watching the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't to the Golden Era Bookroom. And thank you for watching. And please leave me your comments. If you'd like to support my work, you can uh, donate via PayPal or become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookroom where you will find photos and articles 
on the golden and silver era of, of bodybuilding as well as books. Um, I occasionally upload the articles of which I gain the information from, um, such as a previous one from the Zellicurl as it is uploaded right now. Uh, you can also find courses on the bronze and silver era legends on my website goldenerabookworm.wixsite.com forward slash website. Hope you've enjoyed the video. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Bye for now. Visit goldenerabookworm.wixsite.com forward slash website for courses from the bronze and silver era of bodybuilding.